One more time, Lord. Mm -hmm. and God heard his prayer. Yes, and he did. pushed those pillars and pushed those pillars until the whole house fell. And let me tell you something. The Bible said he killed more that one day in that one action that he did all his life and years before. Praise God. God always triumphs. Come on, give him a praise. Hallelujah. God always triumphs. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. God's going to have his way. Amen. Now I hope it don't have to get that extreme for us. But God's going to do whatever he has to do to his children. To get them lined up with his word and his will. We know too much. We know this word. That makes us more accountable than the average person. Are those who don't know Christ. We are accountable. Are you using your talent, your gifts, your God-given gifts and ability? Are you wasting them on yourself? Are you using them to help others find their way to the cross? Because that's what it's all about. This life's going to be over boom in a heartbeat. In a heartbeat. I remember a man said one time, he said, Thought he was being cute. But God gave me wisdom. He said, how far is hell? Hmm. I thought for a second. I said, no, I don't know the depth of hell. Give me an answer. I said, oh, put your hand on your heart. Jesus. He looking at me. I said, go ahead, put your hand. He put his hand on his heart. I said, you feel it beating? He said, yeah. I said, let it skip one beat and you're going to find out just how deep hell is. Oh, my God. He said, oh, he took his hand off his heart. Where hell? Wow. Oh, yeah. God says whether we live or die. That's right. Jesus. You want peace? Too many Christians are walking around without peace. Amen. They are. It blows my mind. Yes. I, I, I don't even know if I'd bother. I don't, want, I don't want to sound stupid or crazy, but I don't even know if I'd bother with any of this if I couldn't have peace. He, he said he's the Prince of Peace. Right. I give my beloved sweet sleep. Yes, that's right. I, he's the Prince of Peace. Why shouldn't we have peace? I'll tell you why. Because we, we, we wrestle with God. Amen. We fight with God. We fight with our flesh. That's right. We get in the way. Get out of the way. Let God have His way and watch the peace come. Watch the joy come. Watch your anointing come. If you lost it, He'll give it back. Just like Samson. He lost it, but God gave it back. David lost it. His kingdom. And God, when He repented, God gave it back. We all blow it from time to time, one way or another, somehow or another. We just, we're human. We, we mess up. But the Bible says to be quick to repent. Quick to repent. Yes, thank you, Jesus. Don't make a habit of it. No. And, and, and don't get comfortable with it. That's right. Recognize it right from the get-go, right from the door. Recognize it. Yes. And, and crucify it. Thank you, Lord. And you don't have to lose your peace. Hallelujah. You don't have to lose your joy. Oh, you, you don't have to lose your family. You don't have to lose your job. You don't have to lose your mind. Thank you, Jesus. Come on. Yes. Jesus. Thank you. So we're not as strong as we think we are. No. And if you have anything worth having, any strength at all, it's coming from the Most High. Yes. Thank Amen. You. Stand with me as we begin to close. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Mm -mm -mm. Hallelujah. The Bible says shortly, soon now, God's going to put Satan under your feet. Yes, Amen. Amen. And this is where he's going. Revelation tells us, chapter 20, verse 10. And the devil that deceived them, the devil is a deceiver, was cast into the lake of fire and brimstone. Hallelujah where the beast and the false prophet are, 
and they shall be tormented day and night forever and ever. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That's where your enemy is going to end up. Yes. Oh, okay. God said in His Word, He's never prepared hell for human beings. Never. In Matthew, He said it was prepared for Satan and his fallen angels. And now for all of those that refuse to accept Him as Lord and Savior. It was never meant for you. I don't believe God will send anybody to hell that repents. And most people send themselves to hell by rejecting Christ in the first place. If God said, I get no pleasure out of the death of the wicked, then that's what He means. God said, I wish that you would repent so you don't have to perish. That's what He means. He don't want us to be losers, but rather winners. Mm -hmm. Christ looked like a loser going to the cross. But now that we know the whole story, we realize what a winner he really was. And so are you. If you know Jesus. And if you keep him in the center of your heart. See, God gives us all a heart. A physical heart. And we as human beings, like Samson, David, like a lot of them, we try to put things in our heart. It's filled with all kinds of things. Things that don't even belong there. Things that rob our time. Things that rob our, our joy, our peace, our marriages. All kinds of things. Selfish things. Selfish things. And we convince ourselves that these things make us happy. And they don't. You know it as well as I do. But see, what we don't realize is God left a little space right dead in the center of your heart. And He hung a sign over it. It says, Reserved for Jesus Christ only. Amen. And until you put Jesus Christ in the center of your heart and life, you will never know what true joy, victory, and power tastes like. Right. That's right. Amen. Hallelujah. Yes, Jesus. To know about the Lord is not good enough. To know about this word inside and out is not good enough. You got to know Him personally. Yes. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. If you're lukewarm today, if you're backslidden today, if you're allowed, and I say allowed, because we allow our hearts to get cold or maybe you've lost that edge that you used to have for Jesus you. you've lost that desire and fire to serve the Lord Jesus. you're just muddling through mm -hmm. or if you've lost your compassion for others because <coughs> that's the bottom line in Christianity See, we get so hung up on trying to please and take care of ourselves instead of trusting God to do that. God always taught me from the beginning, put others before yourself to the best of your ability. Put my work first, my people first, and I'll take care of you. All these years, I ain't got no complaints. No complaints. He kept his word. He kept his word. Not just I'm not talking just material things. He's blessed me with material things. And that's wonderful. I'm talking right here. Right here. He's blessed me with peace. I put my head on the pillow and before it hits it, I'm out. I ain't gonna worry about nothing. Not that I ain't got things to be concerned about. I do. But I don't let it get I don't mm -mm. Lord, I love you. I'll pray myself to sleep and I'll see you in the morning. Sometimes he sometimes he wakes me up two, three, four in the morning to pray some more. That's fine. But I ain't like this. All tormented. You know. No, he wakes me up in peace and I go back to bed in peace. And he'll pop different faces in front of my, my eyes uh, to pray for. And other things. I hardly ever have to pray for myself. Because he's got my back. Yes. See, we have it reversed. You're first. <laughs> right after me. You know, that's wrong. 
Put Christ first. Love others. If you're not there, then this is part of being backslidden, lukewarm, cold-hearted, losing your compassion for others. Maybe we all need to take a good, hard look at ourselves and say, Lord, many of great men and women of God, stronger than all of us, have messed up and blew it or fallen short. So I throw myself on God's mercy. Because if it wasn't for the grace of God, there go we. Amen. Don't think, the Bible says we shouldn't think more of ourselves than we should. Amen? Amen. Stay humble. Stay humble. And if we need to repent about something, let's do it. Not that you're some big sinner. I'm not saying that. I don't know who's watching by internet, but I like and believe that God has called me to give everybody in the hearing of my voice whenever I speak the gospel, mm -hmm. to give everybody an opportunity to make their peace with God. Amen. If you need to make peace with God in one area or another in your life, this is the time to do it. Let's pray together. Say, Heavenly Father, Heavenly Father. Heavenly Father. in the name of Jesus, name of Jesus. Forgive, me forgive me for all my sins. For all my sins. Come into my heart, come into my life. Save my soul. Make me whole. Lord, let me realize it's not by might nor power, but by thy spirit, saith the Lord. Lord, give me your strength. For I'm weak. And I need your strength. I ask it in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Now thank him for it. Hallelujah. Listen, you've got a clean slate. Yesterday's gone. We can't do a thing about it. Whether it was good, bad, or ugly. But you can do something about this moment and forward. Amen. Don't let the devil beat you up about your past because your past is your past. Amen. Every time he tries to torment you with your past, you remind him of his future. Amen. Amen. God bless you. Enjoy your food and fellowship.